Here's a cool math thing I want to show you. I call it the triple twiddle. There's a single rubber band moving continuously around three pairs of twiddling fingers. It's fun, I'll teach you how to do it, and I also want to emphasize the idea of abstraction. When I'm twiddling, I see in my mind's eye an abstract triangle of relationships among possible twiddles, and I'll explain that in a minute, but first I'll teach you how to do the twiddle. Get a rubber band, and we'll start with the simplest twiddle, which just uses one finger. I'm going to take the rubber band and put it just on my thumb of one hand and put the thumb of the other hand in from the other side and just twiddle your thumbs. The rubber band stays on the outside of your thumbs and it goes around smoothly without any slipping and you can do it in reverse as well. Once you've mastered that, we'll put a half twist in it and do the double twiddle, put the loop on the second finger, put the same two fingers in the same holes from the other side and I'm twiddling my index fingers in one direction, my thumbs in the opposite direction. If I focus on just one hand, a pair of fingers moves up between the opening fingers of the other hand. It's a bit tricky at first, but once you do it, you can do it quickly, and you can also do it in reverse. So that's just practice, which is going to help build us up to the triple twiddle. I'm going to take the second loop, add another half twist, put it on my third finger, and take the first three fingers of the other hand, put them in the same holes, and twiddle three fingers at once. Each finger is twiddling in the opposite direction of its neighboring fingers. Once you're good at it, you can also do it in reverse. Now mathematicians love to generalize, so what comes next after two fingers and three fingers? Well, you should be able to twiddle with five fingers, two, three, five, prime numbers. Or you can generalize to different pairs of fingers, like these two fingers, or what's hardest for me, the last two fingers. Now what was that abstract triangle I mentioned? If you can twiddle three fingers, then you can twiddle the first two of those three or the last two of those three. And this suggests in my mind's eye a structure of possible twiddles and the relationships between them. This structure is a triangle. At the top of the triangle I see the five finger twiddle. If I could twiddle all five fingers, then I should be able to twiddle the first four or the last four of those five. And if I can twiddle four, then I can twiddle the first three or the last three of those four, etc., down to the bottom of the triangle, which shows the five different one finger twiddles. So this abstract set of relationships is a structure which I keep in my mind's eye that guides me if I want to know what should I practice if I want to build up to a more complex twiddle. This sort of abstract thinking lets you see deeper into everything around you. It's the essence of real mathematics. It's an example of how mathematicians think differently. Think about that while you enjoy triple twiddling.